When are some of y'all going to wake up and realize that we have no friends? When are y'all going to realize that there are people out here causing drama between our people? This is a channel that I swear, I'm not going to even say the channel name, but this person, what they do is, they're trolls. They're either black trolls or white trolls. And they go to people channels and they star stuff. And, and I think they clone people accounts, make dummy accounts, and send messages to people who are easily reactionary. Meaning that their brothers and sisters who buttons are easily pushed. They don't take time to either listen or ignore certain comments. So what they do is they repost a video of somebody arguing about another YouTuber. And it's usually black YouTubers. And black brothers and sisters go back and forth. And I'm saying to y'all, if y'all have an issue with somebody, okay? If you don't agree with that person, chalk it up to just that person doesn't see it my way. That person's an idiot, whatever. Don't put a video up doing this stuff i'm telling you, this stuff is done on purpose this is why our community is always in a state of flux because there are people who sit back and watch us watch our patterns and know which buttons they can push this is why you have not seen me come out with a bunch of videos talking about this person that person this person that person because a lot of times these be trolls and these are people who are either white or self-hating blacks or other people of color who like to see us fight each other. This is why on YouTube, the videos with black men fighting black men, black women fighting black women, black men and black women fighting each other are in the millions of hits because they get a kick out of seeing us do, do, do these things. You know, best way I can describe it is, you know those old Roman coliseums where they put the uh, two men in battle or, or, or a bull fight or a boxing match where you want to see two people beat the shit out of each other? And they sit there and then turn around and criticize them for doing that shit. But the same say they cheer him and yelling and like, go, you do this, do that. That's what they're doing to us. This is why I would not bash black women on YouTube. The simple fact is because there's too many videos bashing them. Now, would I be critical of black women attitudes and reactions to certain things? Yes, but it's the way you can do that. Same thing go for black men. Can I be critical of black men when they do certain things? Yes, but it's the way you do certain things. See, the thing is, white America... Racist white America, let me phrase that, racist white America and self-hating blacks and other opportunist people of color, they want to come out here and do this. They don't want you and I to have a civil discussion. They don't want us to talk like adults. This shit is annoying as fuck when you cl click onto your channel or put up a video, somebody is a false flagging it or attacking you, questioning your blackness, which I think is crazy considering that all my videos have been pro-black and willing to stand up and talk about things that we need to be talking about, whether it be business, finance, religion, politics, or relationships. My videos just don't talk about nonsense entertainment type shit, like who's fucking who, who's, who's hating on who. See, this is what we got to do. We got to grow up, black people. If you don't agree with me, if I don't agree with you, then we keep stepping. I would never false flag another brother or sister video. Even the videos that I find repugnant, I would never false flag them because you have a right to put the video up. If YouTube doesn't take it down when they when you post it up, then it's just okay. YouTube feel is okay. But if a person coming like, I don't like the video up, that's wrong. That person should not have that right to come along and false flag your video and say, oh, I don't like it being up, but YouTube doesn't have safety uh, features in place. If it gets posted, it's supposed to be a filter system YouTube uses to, to catch videos for inappropriate language, inappropriate images, but they don't. There's porn up on YouTube, actual penetration. Nobody flags that shit. There are Klan videos. There are neo-Nazi videos. There are Zionist videos are up. Christian and Jewish. And they talk always talking about blacks. YouTube is a is a racist person's paradise. Because every time you go on YouTube, it's nigga this, bitches, nigga this, and then and you would think our brothers and sisters would realize that. You would think our brothers and sisters would understand that, you know what, I don't agree with that sister or that brother, or they don't have to agree with me, but I'm not gonna sit here and add on to that drama. Everybody has different experiences. I get that. I understand that. But do you? If I disagree with the video, I either say I disagree or I ignore it. But I'm never going to vote down false flagging because that's taking somebody else's ability to speak their mind. 
But you got channels out here where people are starting stuff up, making false channels. Just like when those sisters were saying, I said things about, I'm like, where the fuck are they getting this stuff from? And then when I realized there was people was making false videos or putting up false channels saying they were me, and I said, no, did these women ever go back and realize that, or men, that when I do my videos, I dress people right like I'm doing now? Now you may see me put a video up and then make some imps, put some uh, pictures up every now and then. And, and 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 if I do, you know it's my voice. I'm not hiding it because you've seen me before. So I'm not hiding anything. The men and women who have channels up, who hide their image, you got to question who they are. And I don't want anybody saying, well, this person was black. I know this person was. That's not necessarily true because there have been black men and black women have their channels taken down or took them down themselves. And a person remember that person name and go back and repost the name up and say, hey, this person, I've seen it happen. There was this white guy that, that, that took a black man's channel. I can't remember the person's channel because I found I think this brother has been dead or he died or something in the car accident. And this guy took his channel, took his to, to copy the videos. Then took when he and waited a couple of months and reposted the videos. And if you went to his channel, it had number clan shit. Don't be fooled, people. Don't let them fool you. This is why I don't engage in those attacks on our brothers and sisters. Like when people make a video saying, "Well, Harvest, you about to disagree." That's your right. You you have your right to disagree with me. I'm a big guy. I'm, I'm I can take care. I can handle them. I can take care of myself. I don't I don't cry at every little thing. But if I'm sitting out here talking about my people, and I'm showing love for my people first and foremost, because we need to start caring about ourselves. That's the problem with black folk. We worry about everybody else's feelings, but don't worry about our own. This is why I didn't make any videos out here attacking these sisters. This is why I'm not going to make videos attacking these brothers. Now, they want to do it to me, they show their maturity if they're black. But I guarantee a large number are not black. How many of y'all go look, when people leave you a comment on your channel, or when you go to another person's channel, you go click on account, the channel and see the channel doesn't exist. You have to ask yourself, why don't they channel exist? Now, everybody got says, well, I don't feel like putting the videos up. They got people that got vi channels up that put videos up. They, they channels are not set to private. When a person set their channel to private, they're hiding something. Well, I don't want the hassle. Well, don't come on YouTube then. But a lot of this YouTube is helping them. There are people that should have been off YouTube, should never be back on YouTube. YouTube doesn't do anything about it because we allow it. We allow people to do things to us. This is why those guys in Tulsa, Oklahoma last weekend thought it was okay to go into a black neighborhood and shoot black people. Every time a white person, somebody who do not look like us, or identify with us, or stand with us, live in our community, come in our community, we should be on, we should be on our P's and Q's. Like, what are they doing up in here? Look how these people are acting with the Trayvon Martin thing. They're trying to now say, oh, Zimmerman can't get a fair trial, or he can't do this. But they never had that reservation or asked those questions when things happen to us. We are mocked in the media. We're mocked in politics. We're mocked in religion. We're, our relationships are mocked. And you would think at some point we would realize that, you know what? Maybe it's not the best thing to me to get in the beef out here on YouTube, considering what's going on in our people. A lot of y'all say y'all down with the fight, y'all revolutionary, then be revolutionary. If you disagree with a, another brother or sister, you know what, keep that shit to yourself and come at them in a respectful way. But when you start calling them out their name, making videos, emulating people and stuff, you got to ask yourself something. What is that person on? Right now, they did an internal audit of YouTube. I guarantee half the channels, or no, a majority of the channels on YouTube are not by black people. And if there are some brothers and sisters out here instigating this shit, you're wrong. You're wrong. This is why I say, brothers and sisters, if y'all truly down for the revolution, stop jaw jacking on YouTube. Look how many videos that people are putting up uh, talk, uh, cracking on black men and black women. Those videos are not taken down. I wonder why. People like seeing that brother and that white woman got on YouTube and did that video talking about black women. I was, I was pissed. But guess what? That video was false flag because I called that brother out. So you have to wonder who, who, who's doing this. Then they, then they get a little weak ass apologies. Why aren't they videos being taken down? You got videos of white people saying they want to kill us. And nobody's false flagging that shit. Facebook, MySpace, all these different social media sites. People are seeing what they want to do to us, and we sit back. Instead of checking them, we turn around and attack each other. If you truly are down with the cause, and you truly down with your people, stop doing this shit to each other. 
Here it is, white folks can have, have issue with another white person. They would never disrespect them the way we disrespect each other in public. And everybody know this. This is why they come in our community, pick us off one by one. Ask yourself, why would I put put videos up showing the fuckers that they're lying and putting up false channels and say, I'm not going to engage in debate with that brother or sister. I'm not going to get in the mud with them. Because I'm because I'm taking the high the, 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 what's that the uh the uh what's that saying the high road or whatever that is it how that saying go or I'm taking the high the more high the high ground the high, the more more high ground or whatever that saying is or I'm just not gonna play the dozens with people and and I'm gonna tell you something brothers and sisters if y'all see them type of videos don't even bring them to me don't even say Harvey they doing this about you so what. That's bound to be. That's bound to happen when you start reaching masses of people out here. Like I said, somebody sent me a personal email and said, "Well, we gotta stop you." I knew it was a white person that did that. You getting too popular? Why are you worried about black channels and and the brothers and sisters? Why are y'all so hating on black men and black women who have a following? I don't tell anybody to go out there and false flag anybody. So why would you do that? This is why I say I have to question some of our people. They really down with fighting and standing up for themselves. But you get them same motherfuckers that when brothers and sisters stand up and fight something, they want to run behind. I knew you can do it. I was standing behind you. This is why when I hear people talk about Dr. Luther King, especially those who are alive during that time or older, I say you disingenuous because y'all know damn well y'all didn't stand with Dr. King. Y'all know damn well y'all didn't stand with Malcolm. Because nobody talks about that part of history. We think that everybody was in love with everybody. 